Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about old developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, do you see people work as software engineers in their 50s? Or do their skills get worse in some areas? In my country, software engineering is a young industry that, and I haven't met anyone who's 50, uh, 50 years old or older. I hope you, uh, I, or so, and so I hope I could get your take on this. Well, I know people who are in their 50s who are software developers. Uh, one of them is a close friend of mine. The other one is, he is the dad of one of my coworkers. And yeah, so I, I think I know two or three developers in total, but you are absolutely correct. The average age in software engineering is mid 20s, well, 20s to 30s, and maybe closing in on very early 40s. If you're just going to be a software engineer, if you're going to be like in the in the sweet like in the on the average curve but there are plenty of software developers who are like i mean i work with people who are older than that who are software developers or who are in their 40s and so forth but that is where it's getting like to the to the high end of software engineering now the people that you usually find who are older than that they usually it's not uh, it's not like it's not that your skills get worse with age it really depends on who you are and how engaged you can be in your craft. And this is something that may feel weird to you if you're just starting out, but I promise you, you're going to get it at some point. It's called complacency. And it's gonna, it's gonna happen to you just as it happens to every single person who's ever done anything for a long period of time. So the usual way it goes is that when you start out, you're going to be very passionate, you're going to be very excited about learning something and you're going to find everything interesting and kind of try stuff out. And before you know it, and for some people this takes years and for some people this happens like after like they basically graduated. You will start feeling like you kind of know this stuff. It's going to get a little bit boring, or you're going to find some other thing in your life that takes up time and that is more interesting than your career progression or your personal development. It can be everything from finding a significant other or having some new hobby, or there's a very nice marathon on Netflix. I don't know. There can be a ton of stuff that comes in and kind of disrupts your energy and directs it to somewhere else. And the older you're get, you get, and considering that you're doing the same sort of things, because that's the thing about being a software developer, this is something that you may not even believe, but you will learn the bulk of what it means to be a software engineer within your first five years of being a software developer. I promise you that that's going to happen. You're not going to be a mass, like you necessarily a master super programmer who knows all the things but you will get this is if you haven't thought about that if you look at the CVs the average minimum usually where people start feeling comfortable calling you a senior is around five years there's a reason behind that because that is roughly the amount of time that you're going to need to get very stable as a software developer if you're following like an a, this very subjective average curve right and the it's not that you're not going just because you get to be 50 or you get older that you're going to lose your skills. It's just that it's highly likely that you get more tired at dealing with new coworkers and junior developers who never get anything right and dealing with, I mean, at that age, you're going to be more experienced than quite a lot of the bosses. And trust me when I say this, it is a personal struggle for a lot of people who have a ton of experience to continuously have to deal with people who lack the same sort of experience and you should not underestimate how much that can affect you where you can kind of just close yourself off and go yeah you know I kind of know my stuff and it's just a headache every time I have to talk with all of these 30 somethings who think that they know everything or 20 somethings who wants to prove the prove themselves to everybody uh, I'm just gonna do my thing collect my paycheck and that's gonna be it right 
when that starts happening and you s maybe you feel very comfortable in your stack and you don't learn things and so forth, you have two things that are working against you. One part is that you're getting older and that there is a prejudice in the industry against people who are it's software engineers who are older. Uh, and the other thing is that you, you're, you're losing your hunger, your enthusiasm for the craft. These are the two main things apart from raw skill. Because that's the thing, raw skill alone is not going to matter to, uh, uh, it's not going to be the determining factor always whether or not you get a job. Because the thing is, if you're 50 and you've been working for 25 uh, something years, you are in many cases, I'm not saying overqualified for the average IT company, but you are at an experience level where there is like if we were if you're gonna pay someone like that for their software engineering skills, well that's not usually something you do. You usually get software engineers in their thirties or twenties because depending on what you're looking for, they will be able to do that job. If you're gonna pay the salary of somebody who is a senior engineer in their fifties and been, has been working for years and years and years, that is a fairly significant amount of money to pay someone when you could pay someone who is twenty years younger. Uh, to do the same sort of thing and a lot of the times the 20 somethings or the 30 somethings uh, are usually hungry they're, they're still really aching to learn and get better and so forth that's not always the case and the this is what I argue to you that you may not see so many people who are software engineers in their 50s because most of them are either pushed out of the industry not because they necessarily don't have don't have an opportunity but one part is that yes it gets tougher to get a job because most of the people are in the age group is in a lower age group than in their 50s but that is something that i see i've seen many times being bridged by the fact that you're still interested you're still a lovely person and sociable and so forth you haven't lost your will to cooperate with people and to continue your own development even when you're in your 50s and that is the that is at the end of the day the most important important thing. The second thing is, as I said, you really like you lose your own motivation to be part of all the conversations and all like cause you, trust me guys, if you've been working in more than a few companies, you will see the same thing happen over and over and over again. Every, every job is different, but there's enough things that are common that you will see that, oh right, this is going to be yet another situation where you're just going to have to kind of let people do what they're doing even though you know better because you're you're older and wiser but they're not at the same point and for whatever reason you can't actually convince them to do like to make the right moves or so forth so you kind of just have to leave it and that does take a toll and then finally uh, a lot of software developers don't spend their entire career just doing development they progress up to either having their own business uh, or they become consultants, like one person consultancies or something like that. Uh, and some of them go into higher management things, uh, architects, uh, if you look, because that's the thing, right? If you're looking for software engineers, because you have to remember this guys, if you want to get into IT as a, in the software development department, usually the entry level stuff is the software engineer. That's the entry level. If you wanted to be an architect or like a tech lead or something like that, or any type of management type of character, it's extremely rare. Well, it does happen. I'm not going to say more than that. But usually the way you start is as a software engineer and then you transition into those roles. And if you look at the people who are running the show at the like large consultancies and usually the um, the bigger companies, uh, and it doesn't have to be bigger companies, but usually the people who are running the show, they are actually a little bit older. It's more common that they are in their 30s or 40s and so forth and upwards than it is that you find someone who is like a manager over an entire section or a, a branch of a, of a company who is in their 20s. So what I want you to take away from this is that there is definitely uh, a prejudice against age, uh, older people uh, or people of a certain age within software engineering. It's not the fact that you're losing your skills just because you're getting older. It, comes with the fact that you lose interest in your own profession or like you get good at something you get complacent and then you do something else and when that affects you in two ways one is that you actually lose 
like your relevancy, your your understanding of technical matters. You still have like a lot of experience to leverage, and you can still do the job. It's just that you don't, may not be as hungry as you used to be, and that affects your tech skills in one way, and it affects your personal skills as well, like how you interact with people. People will sense that you are less, less, um, well, you're, you're less hungry. Let's call it that. And apart from that, a lot of the developers who spend a lot of time in the industry, they usually go move on from just being quote unquote software and en regular software engineers. They go into management, they start out their own business or they create like consultancies and things like that. And these are some of the main reasons as to why you may not find that you're working with people who are a little like in their fifties and so forth. But I promise you they are there and I know they're there because I've worked with them personally. And if you can get such a, a software developer who has, still has a bit of passion and wants to help you out, they have some of the best lessons that you could possibly gain. That experience, that is worth something. I promise you that's worth something. Have a great day.